This is David from Tumbleweed Fly and Tackle with your Blue Water Lake update for the 8th to the 15th of March. Runoff has started. We are up 9 feet, almost 10 feet uh, this year so far. The runoff started a few weeks ago um, when it rained and we're getting some weather this week. So it might come up a little bit more. I think we're kind of at the end stages of this. There's still like 15 inches or so of water or of snow up on the mountains uh, up in Rice Park, but I don't think it's gonna equate to a whole lot. We might get anywhere from 10 to 15 feet um, total. Blue Water Creek is running. Cottonwood Creek is running and there's two creeks in between Blue Water and Cottonwood on the south end of the lake that are running in. I can't remember the names of them at the moment, but those two are running decently. On the west end, all six culverts are um, flowing through. So the, the water's kind of backed up and is pushing through all six culverts. And it's doing that pretty equally. Um, usually it'll do like two or three at once uh, as we get toward the end of the, the runoff season. We're probably going to get a longer runoff period from Blue Water Creek because it comes from the top of Sedgwick and I think it got a lot of snow up there, but it was just not fast runoff. And and from two years ago when we got a whole bunch of water, I feel like there's going to be just a little bit more water up in the creek. It might actually do you some good to check on the west end of the lake or on the south end of the lake, the south inlet to see if any trout have run up the creek. So it might do you some good. They used to do it back in the day, back in the 90s. Uh, we used to go up there and fish, and the fish moved up there. We do have triploids now, which is a little different, but it's definitely worth a shot once the water clears up, and uh, and then, you know, go check it out, see if there's any trout uh, up there in the, in the creek system. As far as the lake goes, the fishing is decent. Um, there's... It's murky. It's very murky. It's it, like I said, it's almost up nine feet and it's just, it's, it's dirty. But if you do find the fish, you'll do all right. If you're going for, uh, muskies, I would definitely use something big and slow, uh, this time of year. And in April, then you'll get start, start getting into the really big fish. Uh, paddle tails work great this time of year. They always do. And they do until about May and then things start to change. Uh, for trout, just keep throwing power bait or, you know, spinners or something, anything, really. Trout are not that finicky whenever they can't see. They'll they'll eat a little bit more because it's all they can get. So they're a little bit hungrier whenever it's murkier. That's about it. After the storm rolls through, it's going to get cold for a little bit and then warm right back up into the 60s and 70s, which I'm kind of excited for because I'm really excited for warm water season. So... I hope to see you guys out on the water this weekend, you know, next weekend by the time the next report or update is out. Um, but I hope to see you then and stop in, say hello, go catch some fish, enjoy some pre preseason fishing because it's worth it. <laughs> Bye.